bestiality, oh yes, no joke. Here is quoting, oh, Ayatollah Khomeini. We all know who Ayatollah Khomeini is, right? Back during the Carter years, okay, here we go. A man can have sex with animals, such as sheep, cows, camels, and so on. However, he should kill the animal after he has his orgasm. He should not sell the meat to the people in his own village. However, sorry, selling the meat to the next village should be fine. <laughs> this is dead serious. I like Ayatollah Khomeini's book, blah, 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 fourth volume. There it is. There's a citation. You can look it right up online. Um, Another quote from, from Khomeini, if one commits the act of sodomy with a cow, a ewe, or a camel, their urine and their excrement becomes impure, and even their milk may no longer be consumed. The animal must then be killed as quickly as possible and burned. Ah, have sex with animals. Just don't sell the meat to anybody in your village. Sell it to someone in the next village. That'll be fine. This is insane. You, you want to call this one of the world's great religions? This is just stupid. It's stupid. And it's evil and disgusting. What, what, what's the true penalty in scripture for a man who is caught having sex with an animal? Death. And the animal's killed too. And nobody's eating any part of that animal. What, why, why was that portion of the law handed down? to keep crap like this from going on. The good Lord knew, and we're nipping this in the bud right here, you're not going there. You're not gonna be having sex with animals. And the penalty will be swift and severe if you do. Because if you, if you allow this crap in, the society just collapses. We're watching that right now. We're watching societal collapse right, happen right in our own culture, okay? Now we understand why the Lord put these things into scripture and just put the hammer down and said, no way guys, no way. Necrophilia, yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. Imam Abdelbari Zemzani, this citation, May 2011, out of Morocco. This is, a, this is a very famous imam in Morocco issued this fatwa. Since a good Muslim couple will meet again in heaven, and since the death does not alter the marital contract, it is not a hindrance to the husband's desire to have sexual intercourse with the corpse of his freshly de deceased wife. Yes, this is not a joke. This is not a joke, this is for real. This is what's coming. This level of evil, sick, depravity, this is what we're letting into our country.